Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So today we're going to go over themes for the RG351P. Now the base operating system that comes with this device is a fork of an operating system called Emulec. And this is actually compatible with various themes from Emulation Station. And that sounds confusing, but really all it means is that you have the ability to pull from years and years of theme development onto this device that just came out. And that's really kind of neat. So I'm going to walk you through how to add box art and other media to your files. I'm going to show you how to download themes as well as to add your own from offline. And I'll also show you how to tweak some themes in order to make them perfectly work with your RG351 screen resolution. Okay, I've mentioned this in previous guides, but you're going to want to have network access in order to download media as well as themes for your device itself. So if you don't have an internal Wi-Fi chip on your device, you're going to need an OTG adapter. You can see I have one here from Anchor and then another one that I got with my Retroid Pocket 2. It may be that when you bought your device, it actually came with an OTG adapter as well as a Wi-Fi USB adapter, which you can see here. It needs to be on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, bandwidth. That's what you're going to have to require. Uh, but other than that, works great. So just just plug these in if you don't have the internal Wi-Fi and then hook up to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, so once you're hooked up to your network, you're going to want to go down to the scrape settings. And in here, there's all sorts of settings, but for the most part, I prefer to have 2D box art. And then I like to only have the ratings and videos scraped. I don't like to have the fan art and manual. Now, this is pulling from a website called screenscraper.fr. So you can actually go in and make an account. And I found that that works best. So uh, go in and make an account at that website. And I have it all in my link below. And then you're going to go to this next page, which will show you specifically what systems you want to look for. So you can look through the systems and say yes I want to scrub NES games but I don't want to do Super Nintendo games however you want to do that and then you just hit start and it'll run through however many games uh, don't have media it'll run through and find those games and then it'll download the media now the box art themselves are pretty small about a hundred kilobytes and then the videos themselves are about two and a half to three megabytes so not big and they're gonna go on your games partition so they're not gonna take up space on your storage partition which is a good thing Okay, so once you have them all downloaded, what you want to do is go up to the game settings and then just hit update game list. And this is going to refresh all of your games. So then if you go into any of your systems, you'll see it has lovely box art. And on this theme in particular, if you if you wait a moment, you can see an actual video. It's a really nice and clean interface, and I really love this one. We'll get into the specific themes here later, uh, but overall, just make sure you get your media set up. Okay, so let me show you how to actually download themes. You go into updates and then you go into the themes downloader and you can see there's a listing of preloaded or pre-available themes that you can go and download. So you just go in and you click on it and hit install. It takes about 30 seconds or so to unpack it and, and install it onto your device. Uh, and there's about maybe 12, 15 of these themes altogether. Some of these are great, some of them are not, uh, but I encourage you to check them out, see which ones you like. Overall, this is probably the easiest way to get new themes onto your device. So once you have it downloaded, you just go up to the UI settings and then change your theme to whatever theme it is you downloaded. So we downloaded the Ruleta one. So we're just gonna go and we'll select that and then hit B to restart Emulec. And there you go. You see, I have a new theme here and this came completely Wi-Fi. didn't have to do any other work. So pretty neat on that. And you can see, you know, you have a scroll wheel here, and then if you actually select the system, it'll pull up the information on that system. And, you know, depending on the theme, it'll have a little video where it'll talk about it. Some of the text is going to be a little bit hard to read on this small screen because a lot of these emulation station themes were made for TVs. Uh, but just something to think about as you have these options. On top of that, you can actually go into the themes and make configuration adjustments as you like. So you can personalize each of these themes a little bit. So for example, I just changed the character from Mario to Aladdin, and you can see here it flips through and shows Aladdin every time. But there's another thing you can actually do. If so you go into the UI settings, you can change uh, how quickly it scrolls or what the kind of animation it is. So you can go and change it from fade to slide to instant. So let's change it to instant and see how Aladdin looks this time. And you can see here Aladdin kind of stays in place and then the systems themselves move. So that looks a lot cleaner. So you can do things like that, which is pretty neat. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about adding your own theme. So if you go to the themes guide that I have linked below in my description, you'll find that I've already kind of curated a bunch of themes that I think work really well with the RG351P. 
So what you do is you go to my website, you click on the link, and then when you get to the GitHub page, hit that green code button and then download zip. Once you have that downloaded, you can unzip it and then you're gonna FTP into your device. If you don't know how to do that, check out the transfer guide that I have linked below. And you go in here, you go into config, emulation station, then themes, and then you just drag over that folder. And you can see all the themes you downloaded to show up there as well. So for example, I go and I pick a theme out for my PC that I've already downloaded, and I can just drag it over. And that's really it. Those are the two ways to get new themes onto your device. You can either download it on the device itself, given the ones that they have already, or you can add your own, which I have linked it below. So let's kind of walk through some of these themes and let me show you some of the nice features about some of these so you can kind of get an idea and see them in action. So here's the comic book theme. This one is a very famous theme. I really like this one. I actually, you know, I, I've incorporated this into simple menu on my RG350. It's just kind of a nice, clean, fun theme. This one's called Locomotion, so it has a scroll wheel on the left. I like this one a lot when it comes to the system menu, but when you actually pull up the device itself, you can see here it squishes the box art a little bit. It kind of makes it into a square, and so that one's not my favorite when it comes to that. The NES Mini you know, reminds me of like the NES Classic or the Super Nintendo Classic. Just a very simple, kind of very 8-bit feel to it, but kind of a fun theme. This one's called Pixel. This one's been around for a long time, but it just kind of has that nice slider bar and then a very pixelated, nice kind of fun interface. Retro Rama is one that was created by a guy who, who drew all the art himself. This one's really neat. It has a very old school arcade kind of feel to it. You can actually hear little blips as you go in between your different systems or your different games, and it's kind of fun. Space Oddity is actually by the same artist. This one's really neat. It has just kind of a cool neon feel to it, a very Space Invaders kind of theme. Uh, but this one's one of my favorites because I like that it has this really big video preview. And so you really get a feel for that uh, game as you scroll through it. Tronky Fran is an old school one, and this one's a lot of fun too. Uh, it has instant videos, which is kind of nice. And I really like those system menus. And then NES Box is actually my favorite. So this one just feels really clean. I like the way it looks. I like how just kind of nice and simple the interface is when you pick on the system itself. I like that the videos kind of pop up uh, after a moment. And the only thing I don't like about it is that some of the text, if you see on the right, the, play the number of players and the release date, they're all squished together. And so what that means is that we have to go into the theme itself and adjust the settings to, to fix this spacing there. And it's pretty easy. So all you do is you go into your themes folder again on your device and then find the actual theme open up the theme.xml file. And I have all this in my written guide below just to kind of walk you through it. But let me show you in action. So basically this big code is going to show you all the various things that they have tweaked for this theme specifically. It'll show you, you know, different types of background images and, and links and things like that. It's pretty complicated. But at the end of the day, if you read through it, you might be able to discern specific things from it. So for example, I found the area that shows the label for the release date, the number of players and the rating, which is where we were having those spacing issues. Issues. So if you go down and find those in, in the code itself, you can see here it shows the players and then it has the X and Y coordinates. So it's saying where it appears on the screen. And because it's too far to the left, it squishes with the label. Let's move it over two pixels. So from 0.93 to 0.95. And let's do the same thing with the release date, which was also squished, but this one is squished even more, so let's actually make it to 0.96. So we're moving it over a little bit. And then all you do is just save it, and remember what changes you made in case you need to change it back, or you can always just drag it from the original file from your PC. But you can see here, look at that. So it's, it's, it's perfectly aligned now. You know, I have great spacing there. Uh, it feels really great. And now I have no complaints about this system. One of the other things I actually did, and I did it off camera, but I have it in the written guide, is that I changed how long it takes from the box art to the video itself. And I really like just having a lot shorter of a distance between that. So I have it set at one half second, and it's just the perfect timing for me. Right now it's set at three seconds. Anyway, that was a lot of information to digest, but I really hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, just giving you an idea of the fact that you can take this RG351 device and curate it to whatever kind of feel and system you want to have for it. And I really like that because all of the emulators still work with it. All of the backend settings and everything else are all going to be compatible with these different themes. 
but you can change the look on the fly like this. And I think it's just a really kind of neat idea. Uh, just coming from a background of working with RG350s for a long time now, uh, I've found that it's very hard to kind of get the feel and the look of your device perfect. And this kind of does all the work for you. So I encourage you to check out the written guide below so I show you all the links of all the places you can go to find different themes, what I did when I actually found the different themes, and then how to tweak them as well to get them perfectly for your device. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. We'll see you next time. Happy gaming.